Hello Internet! Welcome to The Collective Arcana, a channel all about tabletop gaming. Today I wanted to show you some of our painted dragons, just a little peek into the toy box, um, maybe give you some color inspiration. I've seen uh, some people asking, like, what color should I paint this really cool dragon I got? So I'm just going to show you a couple of the ones I've done so far. Um, so the first one is my humongous <laughs> green dragon. I was uh, not thrilled that why it asked for a green dragon at first. I thought for my very first dragon that would be so boring and uh, but now that he's done I, I'm really glad that we did go with that color because he's so cool. I love this sculpt so much. It came in a set. I'm going to try to find all the um, actual model names and stuff and put them in the description for you but he came in like a set with like um like a castle and other minis and stuff like that but uh, on his own, he's just really a great, like, sculpt and just the way he's posed. Really good detail. So, anyway, for this one, I did uh, gold to highlight and contrast. So, like, on the belly, if you're doing a green dragon, maybe consider doing, like, a yellow or gold uh, instead of light green for the belly. Because I think it looks really makes it pop. And for the back, I literally went through with a little paintbrush and like touched each scale, which maybe it sounds a little uh, excessive. Uh, it looks great with just the dry brush, but I just wanted those sharp contrasts because it makes it pop in, you know, from a distance. So just some little tips on, on a green dragon, some ideas, some to think about. I just want to say really quick that we're a pretty new channel, so um, if you like the content, um, it would help us a lot if you would give us a like and a subscribe. Um, I'm working on the production quality, I'm getting better equipment, I'm learning still, so uh, it'll get better. <laughs> um, but I just want to say that really fast. Next up, I have this red dragon. Um, I did him with golds instead of the yellows and oranges and um, bright reds. I wanted something a little more, I don't know, just a standard red dragon rather it being than it having to be a fire dragon. And I like how he came out. I actually wasn't sure what colors I was going to do until I started him. And I'm pretty happy with how he came out. There's the contrast is okay. Um, I did dry brush really lightly on the wings and I think it gave a really cool effect. Let's see if you can see that. I did touch these with a lighter red, but I kind of struggled with how to make them stand out without looking kind of cheesy. So it took a couple of tries, um, but that's what I ended up with. And then on the inside of his wings, focus. I did um, a lot of black wash, and then I went back over with the gold um, dry brush, and then I uh, just painted straight on to these lines here so that they would pop more. So I did have a little trouble getting getting the contrast there and the only solution was to just hand paint um, most of it. I actually did a rock painting tutorial on how I painted the rocks on this guy too if you're interested in that. I'll put a little card up. So here's the same model in um, blue and I did do this one with like an icy theme like a frost dragon type thing and it's so it's exactly the same sculpt two different colors. I had fun with this guy. I did some like metallic ice blue colored paint, a lot of dry brushing. Um, I got to, to work with a couple of different kinds of blue, like the sky blue compared to this like darker blue. I did the same thing on the back of the wings where I dry brushed with that metallic just light enough to give it a magical effect. And I just really went heavy on the the frosties on the on the tips of every every little spot I could get there. So there's some ideas for frost dragons. <laughs> and I actually have a third one to do, um, but this one doesn't belong to me. Uh, I'm doing this one for a friend, and she asked for bright blue and maybe a little purple. So I'll be doing this one as an actual painting tutorial. I'm gonna actually start that today, and. Um, but I'm not gonna post it till it's all done. I might break the videos up just so that you can watch the parts that you need to see, but I'll upload them all at the same time, so it might be a couple of days. 
So keep your eye out for those um, if you're interested in, in a full tutorial. And here's this little guy. Uh, he's a little shocky dragon who I actually uh, got to fight. This is the first dragon I've ever fought. <laughs> uh, I did a lot of metallics. I wanted him to look magic. You can see I did a lot of um, bright blues and purples and just sort of swirled them in there, like on his tail there. Uh, I haven't finished his um, this little rocky base yet. I kind of was... It's kind of hard because I paint the minis and then you know, I'm also the player, so he doesn't, why well, doesn't want to get spoilers, but he kind of had to with this one, so it was sort of like, hey, I need this uh, next game because, well, we, I tricked you into agreeing to fight a dragon, so <laughs> this was a little bit of a rush job, but I think he's really cute. Totally killed him, too. <laughs> he almost killed me. Uh, there's the back. This is a really fun sculpt. His pose is a little strange. But I did him, uh, painted him black and then I just went highlight crazy. Dry brushed a bunch and hand painted some spots like on the bones here, the wings. So I hope this gave you some ideas for color schemes. Um, I'm going to put pictures up on the blog too if you want to look at them, still images, and I'll put that in the link below. Um, and I'll definitely be painting more dragons and showing you as I go along. So. Um, Keep your eye out for, for our blue and purple dragon coming up. I'm going to actually start that today. So um, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.